everyone this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to see definitions of cover open cover sub cover finite sub cover and compact so let's start with the definition of cover cover let xd be a metric space and e is subset of x and c b an arbitrary collection of subsets of x subsets of x then we say that c is a cover of a of e it e is subset of union of members of c okay so let x t be a metric space here ordered pair x t is a metric space and x is a non empty set and e is subset of x consider a non empty set x and e is a set which is subset of x e is subset of x and c b an arbitrary collection of subsets of x say so this is c arbitrary collection of subsets of x we say that the c is a cover of e if e is subset of union of all the subsets of x e is subset of all these subsets of x then we say that c is a cover of e okay e is subset of x we'll consider a non empty set capital x and e is a set which is subset of x and we'll take the collection arbitrary collection of subsets of x arbitrary collection this is a arbitrary collection of subsets of x then we say that c is a cover of e if e is subset of all these subsets of x okay now coming to open cover definition of open cover let x t be a metric space and is subset of x and c equals to set of g alpha such that alpha belongs to i be a collection of or be an arbitrary collection of open subsets open subsets of x where i is an index set and for each alpha belongs to i for each alpha belongs to i g alpha is an open subset of x okay then we say that c is an open cover of e if if e is subset
isotope, union of G alpha, for alpha belongs to I. Okay. If is subset of union of G alpha, for alpha belongs to I. Okay. It's similar to cover, definition of cover. But here we will consider C which is set of arbitrary collection of open subsets of X. Okay. So here C is a collection of open subsets of X. So these are, these are open subsets of X. That is. This is an open subset of X. Okay. Let X D be a metric space and E is subset of X. Let capital X be a non-empty set and E is a set which belongs to this non-empty set. E is subset of X. And C is a collection of open subsets of X. So we have taken C equals to G alpha for alpha belongs to I. For each alpha belongs to I, G alpha is an open subset of X. Okay. So we say that C is an open cover of E if, if E is subset of union of all the collection of open subsets of X. That is, E is subset of union of G alpha for alpha belongs to I. That is, E must be contained in every open subset of X that uh, which exists in the collection. Okay? So, this is called open cover. C is an open cover of E. Okay. Now coming to the definition of subcover. Subcover. A subset of an open cover whose union contains E is called subcover of the original cover or you can say subcover of the open cover. Okay. So, we have considered C equals to G alpha for each alpha belongs to I. Right? So, here C is an open cover. Open cover. If you take C1 equals to some G alpha 1 or G alpha I for alpha I belongs to I which is a subset of open cover. A subset of open cover whose union contains E. That is, E is. If E is subset of union of G alpha I for alpha I belongs to I. Where I is? Index set. Then we say that C I is a Subset or subcover, subcover of the open cover, or you can say C1, CI, or C1, you can consider anything. C1 is a subcover of the original cover. Okay, the subset of an open cover whose union contains E is called subcover. Okay. So, when you can say that the subcover is finite.
finite subcover. A finite subset of an open cover whose union contains E is called finite subcover of that original cover. That is finite subcover of open cover. Okay. A finite subset of an open cover. Since we have taken C i equals to set of G alpha i for alpha i belongs to i where i is an index set. Okay. If this set is finite, if this set is finite and the union of this collection of finite set contains E, that is E is subset of union of this collection, then we can say that C1 is a finite subcover of the original cover. Here, our original cover is a, an open cover. So, we can say that C1 is an C1 is a finite subcover of an open cover. Or we can say a subcover is finite if it has finitely many numbers finitely many numbers okay so this completes the definition of finite subcover next coming to compact set definition of compact set or compact compact let xt be a metric space And E is subset of X. We say that E is compact if every open cover of E admits a finite subcover. If every open cover of E admits a finite subcover, then we can say that the set E is compact. Okay. Let X T be a metric space. We always consider metric space. Okay. Let X T be a metric space and E is subset of X. Here X is a non-empty set. X is a non-empty set. We say that E is compact only if Every open cover of E admits a finite subcover. Okay. Fine. So we have seen some definitions of topology. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.